Hello everyone, so we are in this beautiful setup out here, it's our tent and we have this open area facing the view of the lake, it's a beautiful lake hai. and uh, right now we have our cigar set up, so yes we will be doing a review of the cigar, I have picked today for this review a beautiful cigar by Rocky Patel, we have LB1 by Rocky Patel. So this is the pick for this cigar review. Let's see how does it go. It's a beautiful stick. We have uh, chosen a stick which is not uh, going to be a long, long smoke. We want something which is going to take us around uh, one and a half hours maximum. So this is the pick for us. It's a beautiful, beautiful cigar LB1 by Rocky Patel. It's a Robusto size and uh, it says original factory code so it's a premium hand rolled cigar by Rocky Patel and this is what we'll be smoking today and yes of course we will be pairing this beautiful cigar with amazing Highland single malt scotch whiskey royal braclava so this is for the first time I'll be tasting royal braclava it's a beautiful bottle it's a uh, bottle which I have saved in my collection since my last visit to Azerbaijan so look at this look at this beautiful bottle Royal Baklava it's a 12 years aged Highland Scotch whiskey so let's let's unlock the whiskey first here we go Oh my god, look at that. So heavy cock. So the beverage which we are about to pair with beautiful LB1 is ready. So let's go ahead and uh, So here we go. So I'm trying to inhale the notes pre smoke, pre lights, pre light notes of the cigar. This does give me a fruity notes, a bit of walnut, chocolate, coffee. So yeah, it's, it's a very pleasant notes which I'm getting, pre-light. So let's go ahead and light it. So let's roast the foot of the cigar. So to gently roast the foot of the cigar so we can let all the flavors go through the cigar stick because this is an agricultural product so it, it's very important that you you know bring it to life by roasting the tip of the foot
So on the first light, the first third of the cigar, it does give me a very jittery notes of uh, pepper. It's a very slight pepper which I can feel right now. But uh, the first light was pretty smooth. So let me tell you a little bit more about the blend and the origin of uh, LB1. So the wrapper is from Nicaragua and uh, the binder and the filler is from Honduras as well as Nicaragua. So it's a mix of both and the country of origin is Honduras. So Rocky Patel is known for mixing up the binder, wrapper and the filler from different parts of the top cigar producing nations and he comes up with a beautiful piece of stick. So this is one of those sticks which is a mixture of the wrapper, the binder and the filler from different parts of the top nations which produces cigars. And the factory is Al Paraiso. So this Robusto which is 5.5 into 50 size is an amazing pick for an afternoon setting, especially a setting at Ras Chhatrasagar. Jape, you get a beautiful view of lake and uh, kafi amazing view hai. and if you are uh, a cigar lover like us I think this location because this location is giving you that amazing vibes of countryside with the country music going on and you are smoking a beautiful stick. So on the retro hail, if you talk about, it's pretty smooth on the retro hail, and I'm not really uh, feeling any kind of uh, hints of a uh, lot of pepper coming in as of now because we are still in the first third. If you talk about the burn, it's not a very even burn. And uh, most of the sticks with uh, most of the sticks of Rocky Patel has an issue of even burn, and you can see that it's not a very even burn, but uh, it's 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 pretty fine, still pretty fine because uh, uh, this was aged for a little long, and uh, it's out of the travel humidor after a long time, so it, it's still performing pretty decent. If you talk about the notes on the first third of this cigar, it's pretty mild. So it's a mild to medium bodied and uh, this is a very, uh, very soft cigar I would say for beginners and especially for a setting which is in the afternoon just after having your lunch you can smoke this uh, LB1 Rocky Patel. I would highly recommend to have it in the afternoon setting after your lunch because it's uh, mild to medium bodied and it, it does give you uh, that refreshing hint and it has those notes of coffee bit of earth coming in and uh, as of now I am I was feeling a lot of uh, fruity notes on the pre-burn but uh, after the smoke after lighting it up I'm not really feeling those fruity notes but it, it, it's pretty decent in terms of uh, giving you a lot of flavors and when you pair it up with the uh, Royal Braclava because Royal Braclava has uh, uh, a lot of uh, fruity notes try to pick up a whiskey or a scotch which is on a lighter note compared to the cigar because you are right now trying to have better flavors of the cigar coming in so you need your cigar to perform in such a manner that uh, you get good flavors out of cigar so kafi achi cigar hai agar afternoon setting mein if you want to smoke it up
I wanted to talk more about the smoke as well. The smoke is pretty dense right from the first light. Coffee dense smoke and uh, when the smoke is dense, it really gives you a good flavors. So it's been aged properly. The cigar has good oils developed over the time. So we are almost into the second third of the cigar and uh, the burn has significantly improved after the first ash out and you can see the burn is pretty much perfect now and uh, the cigar is performing much better and I would say that in the first third of the cigar it was very mild but now it has really moved on from the mild to medium bodied and it is giving more of the flavors it is giving a lot of peppery notes it is giving a lot of fruity notes a lot of earthy notes i can feel a lot of coffee in there and uh, a bit of walnut as well is something which i can experience i can also feel a lot of pepper in the retro hail now and uh, uh, it's not a very stingy i would say it's pretty mild uh, pepper in uh, the retro hail which is giving a good feel to the uh, cigar and uh, the flavor profile of the cigar is improving significantly from the first third generally you get a lot of good flavors in the first third but this cigar is performing much better in the second third and i'm really impressed by how significant improvements this cigar is showing when we have moved on from the first third to the second third so now we are almost done with the second third of the cigar and uh, it's time to remove the label gently roll it we do not want to unravel the wrapper so we have to gently roll it and remove it from the top now i am someone who collects wrappers so this is a souvenir which is now into my collection from lb1 rocky patel and now we have almost edging towards the end of the second third this is a beautiful cigar which is performing much better than the initial stage or the first third or the second third initial initial phase so this is now giving good flavors and the flavor profile has significantly improved and i'm really impressed by how lb1 has performed and started giving more of peppery notes and i can now feel a bit of uh, stingy pepper onto my palate so watching the bird life right in front of me smoking a cigar i think this was a perfect pick lb1 from rocky patel for the afternoon setting If you talk about the pairing with Royal Braclava, now when I am generally pairing cigars with whiskey or scotch, I do not uh, prefer galloping a lot of it. I prefer having uh, uh, one or two 30 ml without any any kind of an adulteration. I think the Royal Braclava was a good pick for LB1 because it did really give us a good pair and uh, it really enhanced the flavors of uh, the cigar and also the fruity notes which I was expecting from the cigar to come was uh, uh, perfectly balanced by Royal Baklava and I'm really impressed how uh, the pairing of uh, whiskey especially the Royal Baklava which is Highland Scotch Whiskey and the LB1 performed fantastically. So now we are into the last bit of the cigar and uh, it has made me a little overwhelmed right now. It, it really uh, moved on from mild to full bodied towards the end of, this, uh, end of the stick and this is an amazing stick 
as the sun is about to set and I'm enjoying this LB1 Rocky Patel into the last bit of the cigar. If you talk about the flavor notes, a lot of roasted coffee is what I can feel. Burnt flavors of cacao, burnt roasted notes of chocolate is what I can experience now and a lot of pepper, a lot of pepper is there into the cigar which is really uh, giving the flavor profile of overwhelming to the cigar and the cigar has really performed amazingly and I, now I understand why Rocky Patel is a go-to brand for me because uh, this has really given me what I was expecting from it. It started with a very mild notes in the first third of uh, the stick it was not giving a lot of flavors though i expected a lot more fruity notes but it didn't really come onto the palate but towards the second third it really improved and into the last bit of the cigar when i'm really smoking it i'm i'm really uh, feeling full of flavors on my palate and this has really improved in terms of the flavor in, in terms of the flavor profile so if you talk about the rating of the cigar i would uh, rate it 7.5 out of 10 although cigar ratings are out of 100 but uh, i will rate it out of 10 and it would easily be 7.5 out of 10 few points directed because the first third of the cigar didn't really perform uh, the way I wanted it to perform it was very mild and the flavors didn't really come up but uh, it really improved and uh, the fruity notes were missing which I expected it to give it to me but a uh, lot of chocolate a lot of earthy notes a lot of uh, uh, coffee burnt notes and a lot of pepper towards the end is what I can feel and uh, is what I can get into the cigar and I'm really happy how the cigar is performed but yes 7.5 out of 10 is is what i would rate lb1 rocky patel oh,